Okay, joined here by SVSU head women's basketball coach Jamie Puinski here to give us a little update on how the Lady Cardinal season has gone so far in the early goings. And coach, talk a little bit about the start of the season, the first four games. Team had a couple tough regional opponents to start the year, including number two Lewis. Uh, tough double overtime loss to St. Joe's, but you bounced straight back this past weekend at the Missouri s and Minor Classic with two key regional victories. Could you talk about that for me? Yeah, so obviously starting out with uh, the number two team in the country isn't probably ideal with uh, the young kids that we have. And um, I think it showed our nerves showed a little bit there. We didn't score for about eight minutes, um, but I thought our defensive effort was great. So. Uh, you know, not scoring for eight minutes. We're still only down 13 to four at the end of the, the first quarter. We felt like we were really still in the game, and and we showed that by uh, you know making a big run and, and taking the lead in the third quarter. And obviously, you know, we weren't able to sustain to sustain that lead, but at the same time, it showed a lot in our team to to not quit and not give up and and to fight back. And it, I think it really just gave us an understanding of of how hard we're really gonna have to play for 40 minutes. And um, when things don't go your way, you just have to continue to fight. And so I thought, uh, you know, I felt good about that game. Um, and the St. Joe game, you know, it's just one of those games. It wasn't uh, things were just not going our way. I thought we played okay. I thought we played hard, um, but you got to make shots. And and, and, the, and down the stretch, we just weren't able to do so. You know, the, the stats show exactly why we lost. I mean, really, it shouldn't even been a close game. We should have got killed, and we didn't do the things we needed to do. But I give St. Joe a lot of credit for for their game plan and, and us not being able to adjust. And they took us out of a lot of stuff. So. Ultimately, playing those games, my hope was uh, to help us in, in the next weekend and get us ready for conference. And I, and I think that bore true in in playing S and T in, in Lemoyne Owen. Um, you know, S and T is is a pretty solid team, and, and I felt they were a lot like us. But in, in their early games, they they had just had blowout you know, blowouts. They won every game by over 30 points. And us playing those tight games, I think, gave us a little bit of an edge going in. We knew how hard we had to play. We knew we had to sustain it for 40 minutes, and we were able to do that um, and get out to a great start. So that, that I feel like that's a pretty good win for us, especially, um, you know, getting Caitlin back and getting her on the floor last weekend um, after being out for a year and, and, and in the first weekend. Um, it was just two great games to get her kind of acclimated again. And, and Grace Whalen stepped up and played great, especially uh, with Emily being in foul trouble and uh, you know, Emily getting player of the week, obviously there's not a, not a whole lot to be said about her. She's just um, off to another good start. So it's uh, we're coming together as a team. Um, we're, we're starting to get there. Just the, the more games we play that are, that are close, uh, the better is going to be for us. Okay, and how, how important is that for you as a coach to schedule those tough regional games? I mean, obviously, when it comes down to it, obviously every coach you're always looking for, you know, towards that NCAA tournament. And how how important is that for you, you know, to see how you stack up against other teams in the region? Yeah, you know, it's we don't talk a lot about the NCAA tournament. I, I'm not 100% sure that's where our program is at right now. Obviously, we would love to be there, and, and sure, it's in the back of our minds. That's the goal, but... Um, I think if you start just focusing on that, that St. Joe loss becomes bigger than it really is. And, uh, you know, it doesn't make or break our season. We still have 22 conference games that we have to take care of or you're not going to have a chance anyway. So um, we want to schedule tough games. We want in-region games. And any game you get in region is going to be a tough one. And we want that competition level to, to prepare us for our conference because you're not going to have a night off. And, and I feel like uh, when you start playing teams that you're blowing out constantly, you start picking up really bad habits, and that's a you know a dangerous uh, you know you know way to go when you when you know every game in conference is going to be extremely difficult. And um, I think we're prepared. I, I think it's it's shown our young kids you know how how this is going to go. You know, like college basketball is different, and and you have to be prepared not only physically but mentally every single game. And and when you take two minutes off, that's a that's a run the team's putting on you that you might not come back from. And and I think it's really changed. Changed um, a lot of our mentality as, as we go forward and start to get ready for conference. And lastly, just talk about this weekend's matchup. Hit the road at Purdue University Calumet, uh, the last contest before we enter the treacherous stretch of Gliat contest. Uh, just talk a little bit about your opponent, if you know much about them, heading into this weekend's match on the road. Yeah, they're they're good. I mean, they're really good. They're um, they start a huge lineup. You know, they start six two, six three, six feet across the across the back line, and uh, you know, their their six foot guard shoots a ton of threes and shoots them deep. 
Um, they have a solid point guard, a couple D1 transfers. Uh, they're deep. We're playing them at their place, so it's going to be really tough. Um, they're seven and one, so we haven't seen a ton of film, a little bit here and there, but um, it's going to be quite a challenge. You know, it's something. Um, again, maybe uh, a good challenge for us to, to have to prepare after the holidays to get ready to go and, and not have a lot of prep time. Um, but we're excited for it. You know, it's it's a team that uh, you know could could be. Uh, you know, at, at the end for them could be in the national championship game or right down the down the down the wire as far as how far they go. So, uh, for us to to compete against them and see where we stack up, you know, we're we're always excited for that. All right, thanks, coach, and best of luck Saturday.